today? Well, firstly, we were delighted that we got the opportunity to play them. Um, the game panned out pretty much as I thought it would, you know, considering uh, they are the middle of their season, flying high, and we've been finished now for, what, four months? And the lads have had two weeks training, and I think that showed today. Um, add to the fact that we didn't have three or four of our regular starters, didn't, didn't help us, but it's been a great learning experience for everybody. I think for some of our younger players, I think it's been a huge eye-opener to what the next level or the next three levels above this is like. Um, I thought they were very good. I thought their, their attitude was very good. They looked very fit, they looked very strong, very athletic. So it was, uh, it was a real learning curve for some of ours. Honestly, how much can you judge your trial lists against what, that quality of a, of a side that you were playing? Well, I think it's difficult to, to judge them when they're playing against international players. You know, and they've, they've only just come to us. But, you know, we, we can see what they can do on the ball. We've seen them for two or three weeks. We, we have a little picture of what they're about. But in terms, you know, we'll have to evaluate them when we're playing against a more realistic level. But um, I hope we have give them a decent run out, which I think we have. We, we were always kept at it, the players worked really, really hard, so it was um, it was an enjoyable afternoon. When we went three down after 12 minutes, I wasn't sure it was going to be a, an enjoyable afternoon, but uh, on the whole, you know, I'm, I can be quite pleased, certainly with the effort and the determination that the players have shown. What is the team planning to work on now? Uh, you know, you don't have Kevin Molino to pull the strings there, and Chini mm -hmm. doesn't have his usual uh, striking partner with Luzanares. I mean, what, what are you... Uh, what are some plans you can... Well, we've got, you know, we don't start back in again until February and then we don't start into April. So, as much as we love playing these games, they're very difficult for us because, you know, we don't have a full complement of players. The players are not as fit as we would like. So, but we've got plenty of time to work on things for the coming season. Um, obviously, there has been one or two bits of changeover, but we're confident that we'll bring the necessary pieces in to make us uh, as successful and as, and as um, what's the word, competitive as we've always been. How do you feel about the Coming up now. Well, the, the next generation, our 16s and 18s, have been very competitive at the academy level. You know, we, we're only a year in. We, we know it's going to be a long process, but we're really encouraged with the amount of talent we've seen in Central Florida and a little bit wider. Okay. Thank you. On a grand scale, we're going to be good. We're going to be okay.